Number 73, suppose you have a supply of inductors ranging from 1 nanohenry to 10 henrys and resistors ranging from 0.1 ohms to 1 mega ohm. What is the range of characteristic RL time constants you can produce by connecting a single resistor to a single inductor? All right, so this is basically a little bit of a, a mathematical type of uh, uh, trick that we can do. So here, here's the time constant formula. It's equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. So in order to maximize the time constant, you would have to maximize the size of the numerator and minimize the size of the denominator. Right? If you take a very large numerator and you divide it by a very small denominator, this whole fraction becomes quite large. So if I take the largest inductor divided by the, lar the smallest uh, uh, resistor, I'm going to find the largest time constant. So in other words, the largest inductor here would be the 10 Henry, and the smallest uh, resistor was the 0.1. So the largest time constant here could be 100 seconds, okay? And then I can do the same thing to find now the smallest, all right, time constant. So we can write this as a little L for largest and we can write this as the smallest. We'd basically do the same analysis, but it's opposite now. The numerator we want to be the smallest and now we want the denominator to be the largest, right? Because that will result in an overall fraction that is the smallest. So we're gonna take the one nano Henry, but you know we need that in Henry, so multiply that by 10 to the minus ninth. This is mega ohms, right? But you know we need that in ohms, so take one and multiply it by 10 now to the uh, uh, sixth, right? And now all we need to do is simply, you can plug it on into the calculator. You can basically add these exponents if you want. This is gonna be work out to be about one times 10 to the minus now 15th seconds, all right? So that would be now the um, smallest time constant. And guys, thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully that helps, hopefully it makes sense. And uh, I will see you in the next video. All right, check out some more of the problems if you're taking chem or pre-calculus at the same time. I've got a whole bunch of solved problems out there for you. Check them out. Be well.